and welcome back in today's video i want to show you how to create an effective multiple line chart so basically we'll be converting this line chart from what you're seeing here to something more simple something you can easily understand and it conveys the message just at a glance so we'll also be highlighting the maximum and minimum cells for each of the months and the last thing we'll do in this video is to create tool tips to add additional context to our data point so let's get started so if you look over at my data pane i have two tables the first one if i click on it you see that this is a date table it has um date months month name and year and the second table here is my other table so basically this is a shipping data which have the sales price cost for different product types and the different customer including with the shipping date okay so that is my data set anytime you have a data like this you can always come over to table view to view your data so let me quickly go back to our report view so what we want to show is the monthly sales for each customer type so if you're asked a question like that or if you're asked to do something like that how you would do it is to we first of all select a line chart so I have selected a line chart here. I'm going to go to my other table. If you have a lot of columns like this to work with, you can always make use of this search box to type any column that you need. So I'm going to select the total sales measure and then close the um, search box. But always remember that before you load data into Power BI, make sure you load the data that you want to use at that um, point of analysis so that you prevent some performance issues so once i select total sales measure i'll go to my dates table and select the month name we are looking out for monthly sales train of customer type then the next thing i'm going to select is the customer type from the others table so I have selected this customer type. If I expand or readjust this line chart, you can see that all the lines are clustered together and this can make it very daunting to start finding information within this particular line chart. So what we can do to change it, you come to your visualization pane. On that visualization pane, you can see that the customer type is in the legend box. So you just click and drag it to small multiples box. Once you drag it to small multiples, you can see that it has been splitted into four multiples. This is because we have four customer type. If we add three, it will split it into three. Then once you've split it, you go back still under your visualization pane, click on format visual. Then you scroll to where you have small multiples and select it. Then under rows, I'm going to type four. Four because I'm, I'm typing four rows because my multiples is four so and i also want one column so you can see that the different customer type has been splitted into different multiples but still in this particular line visual so i don't have to create the individual line visuals for all of these customer types the next thing i am going to do is to quickly select the markers and um, data labels for this so after selecting the markers and data labels i can quickly go to my y axis y axis and unselect the title so if you look at my axis here it's starting from 20 20,000. i don't want it to start from 20,000. so under the um, visualization pane in the range the minimum range i'm going to type zero i always try to make my axis start from zero so i can get a proper analysis of what i am visualizing so i'm going to type zero and press enter so after that i can quickly come to select the lines i want to change the colors of those lines then i'll select color and click on color i'm going to change it to any color for now so this is how our line chart is looking the next thing is for us to highlight the maximum and minimum sales for each month so that we can remove the other labels and the markers so what we will do is to create a measure for this so i'll quickly click on the table in which i want the measures to show if you have a lot of tables within 
your data pane that you are working with always make sure to create a table for all your measures especially if you are creating lots of measures so i'm going to click this table and click new measure on that new measure i'm going to give highest sales months to my measures name so i'll say highest sales month highest sales month equal to then i'm going to press shift and enter because i want to create a variable so i'll say var max sales the variable name is max sales equal to and i'm going to use a calculate function so this calculate function is going to help me modify the context in which my calculations are performed the first argument is an expression and for this expression i'm going to press shift and enter and indent so my expression is going to be the max x function this max x function is going to help me return the highest numeric value within what i am evaluating the first argument for max x function is a table so i'm going to use the values function values will help me return one table containing distinct values and i'm going to select the month column from the date table once i select that i am going to close the values function with a bracket then press comma and then add my total cells and close the bracket for max x function so the first argument here is the table which i'm using the values to return distinct month so i'm evaluating the total cells for each month using the max x function so the max x function is going to return one single value which is the highest numeric value from this evaluation i'm going to put a comma here and then press shift and enter then the next function i'm going to use is all selected this all selected will help ignore all the filters within this visual or within this query so for the all selected the first argument which is a table name i'm going to include my date table and close my brackets then i press shift and enter close the bracket for calculate function then i am going to press shift and enter and type return because i want to return this variable in formula so i'm going to type if function my logical test to be if max sales is equal to total sales then it should return total sales else it should return blank so i'm going to close the bracket and then press enter so i've been able to create the highest sales months visual remember when creating dax measures like this it is not a one size fit all you can create the same measure in another way the most important thing is that you get your desired result so i'm going to just quickly copy this because i'll also use it to create the lowest sales month but before we create the lowest sales month let's see what the highest sales month will do let's see how it will affect our visual so i'm going to select the line chart again and select the highest sales month once i select the highest sales month you see that we have another marker here the color is not really visible now so when we remove all the markers you're going to see but each point i'm overing on you can see that that is the highest sales month so the next measure we're going to create is the lowest sales month i'll quickly select the table click new measure then i'll i'll, I'll paste the formula i copied from the other measure i'm just going to paste the formula and i'll change the measure name to lowest sales month then i'm going to change my variable to to mean sales remember i'm looking for the minimum sales and my max function i'm going to change it to mean x function i'll also change this max sales here so anything you're changing especially if you're copying a formula always make sure you change everything across board so i'm going to impute that mean sales once i am done i'm going to press enter i will also add the mean sales to my line chart so i'm going to select the line chart and select the lowest sales month so once i select the lowest sales month you can see that there is another data point that is being indicated for lowest sales month so let's go ahead to format this line chart again so i'll click on format visual then i'll scroll down to where i have markers i'm going to select the markers i'll just scroll down a bit then apply setting to series you i'm going to select this 
and go to total sales for total sales i don't want any market so i'm going to unselect it then i'll go to higher sales month i want markers to show for higher sales month and i want markers to show for lowest sales month so i'm quickly going to once i'm done with that i'll just go to markers and unselect everything so once i unselect everything the only markers that are now available is the highest sales month and the lowest sales month so when i'm done with my marker i'll quickly do the same thing for data labels i'm going to select data labels i'll just scroll it a bit so i can see what i'm doing then for all apply settings to series for my total sales i don't want to show um, data labels so i'll unselect it i want data labels to show for higher sales and lowest sales month when i'm done i'm going to select the higher sales month i'm going to i want to format the values for higher sales month so i'll quickly come here and change the color to green for higher sales month i can make it bold for it and i'll come back i'll scroll back to apply settings to series and select lowest sales month once i select lowest sales month i'll scroll down to values and change the color to i'll change the color to red because it's the lowest sales month so i'm going to change the color to red and once i'm done with that the next thing i am going to do is to go back to the lines under still under format your visual i'll select the lines and scroll to where i have colors i'm going to select the colors then for the lowest sales month i'm going to choose the same red color that i gave to the data label for the highest sales month i'm going to choose green so each of these data points will now have green and red color so once i'm done with the color i can just readjust this line chart just a bit so this is how you can highlight the maximum cells for a particular month and the minimum cells so, so like the first one which is the consumer customer type you can see that the minimum sales was recorded in april while the maximum sales was recorded in august so if you're doing more formatting you can just quickly give this a shadow i'll go to general tab and i'll go to effects where i have shadow i'm just going to apply a little shadow to my line chart so this is how my line chart looks like and i can quickly just come to change the title i'll say monthly sales trend by customer type so the next thing i am going to do here is to create a tool tip so tool tip basically add more context to your data point if i over on any data point here you see the small black box i show in the total sales and higher sales one that is the default tool tip of power bi but you can create another report tool tip and apply it to this let's go ahead to create our tool tip so i will quickly click on a new page once i click on that new page i'll change the page name to let me call it tool tip one then i'll come over to format your report page and click format your report page under the canvas setting under type i'm just going to select tool tip remember tool tip will cover most of your canvas background so you have to make it very small as much as possible but let it contain the major data information that you need once I select it as tooltip, vertical alignment, under vertical alignment, I want to select it. Um, I want it to show in the middle. So I'm going to select middle and this is our tooltip. So for this tooltip, I'll basically be adding a card visual that shows the customer type. So I'm going to select a card visual here. I will readjust this card visual. I'm going to select the customer type for this card visual and once i'll come here to remove the category label then i'll go to the call out value and maybe give it change the font size to 35 35 is still too large i can um, change it to 25 so that is it for my call out value i'll go to general tab and select the title i want to give it a title title is going to be customer type and i can add a background color to this so my background color is going to is going to be the color of our line chart and my text color is going to be white i'll just readjust the customer type title 
to the center so i'll align it to the center and this is our customer type and we adjust this card to fit in the tooltip box okay because of how our card visual is looking i'll just give it a border so i'll select it go back to format visual and go to general i'll quickly come to effect and select visual border so there's going to be a border surrounding this then the next thing i'm going to create is products category by sales so i will quickly select a bar chart because i want to use a bar chart and product category by sales i'll select my total sales and i'll go over to select the product category so once i do that i'll click on format visual i want to remove the title of the y-axis and i also want to remove the x I'll, i want to remove the x-axis because i will need to add a label data labels to it so i'm going to add this data label and for my bars i can change the default color to this particular color so tooltips can contain anything it could be visuals it could be images but just try and make it small so that it doesn't cover your entire canvas so i'm done creating my tooltip i can come over to my report page so if I come back to my line charts on the next page, in order to add that tooltip to my line chart, I'm going to select it, click on format visual, click on general tab, and I'll, I'll select tooltip. Once I select tooltip, I don't want to use the default tooltip, so I'm going to select report page. And for the page, I'm going to select the tooltip. Remember the tooltip page I created here and i'll close it and my tooltip has been applied so this is how the tooltip works as i'm hovering on any of the data points it is going to show the customer type for that data point and it's also going to show the product category that constitutes the particular cell of that data point so this is the first one which is consumer type if i come to corporate type it's going to show me the customer type as corporate and also show the product category that are making up a large percentage of that cell so this is how you can create an effective line chart and also apply maximum and minimum monthly sales including tooltips to your line charts thank you so much for watching please if you learned something please like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more insightful videos if you have any question do well to drop it in the comment section thank you so much